Hello, hello, good evening. It's a little bit better, I guess. Hello. hello. What's up? What's going on? How are you tonight? Good. Did you feel the tremble? Did you feel the earthquake? Yeah. No. No, you didn't? It's really um, strong. Yeah. Susana, Susana, Susana Caceres. Actually, I didn't hear about it until now. Really? You didn't hear about it? Mm hmm. Well, it is what it is. But I heard about the match. I heard that too. Okay, so, okay, start the class. It's 802 already. Who wants to throw the rock tonight? Who wants to break the ice? Who wants to break the ice tonight? Somebody? We're supposed Hi, to be in guys. an English. Good evening. There you go. Thank you. Good evening, guys. How are you? For the ones that are okay, how are you? Fine. Here. Hi, good, evening, good evening, Miguel. Michael. <laughs> there are a lot of people in this class. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. I didn't know. <laughs> yes. Hello, hello. William, Carolina, Alex. How are you? I'm fine. Hi, I'm watching the, the match. Oh, really? <laughs> How are you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My, my TV, my TV doesn't doesn't work very well. It <laughs> doesn't work. That's karma. Yeah. Maybe it's a Chinese TV. <laughs> <laughs> Who's winning? Uh, they don't they, start yet. They haven't started yet. Haven't started yet. Haven't started. Uh, what time are they scheduled to start? Uh, 8 a.m. Uh, 8 p.m. p.m. 8 p.m. 8 o'clock. Okay, well, we're here to learn English. So what have you been up to guys? What have you done today? Tell me something exciting you did today. Mm, just to work and they was relaxed. I was watching a new city. That was nice. What do you really? say Esquadron Pastelero? The bakery. I don't know, squad, the bakery squad, maybe? Yes, well, sounds really, really, sounds nice. right. really? Yes. What is it, yes. Disney Plus or? I cake and I can make pastry. That was something that my grandma teach me. Taught me. So in this really? day, yes. In this day, I, I, I was watching and it was really, really nice. Mm. What is it about? Yeah. Uh, it's about four guys, two men and two girls that are, con, are in a competition. They are already professional and they are already the bakery. But in this case, they uh, suppose see an example. You will celebrate the birthday to your daughter. So you, you will tell them what she likes, what she really does. And they are going to create an idea that you 
want to represent that kind of sky. It was really, really nice. Oh, okay. That's nice. You no, know, just talking about this, the the flavor, talking about the design of the cake. The design of the cake, yeah, yeah. So if my daughter likes unicorns, they will just get the idea. Okay. Yes. That's awesome. Okay. Baker Squad. It's about two men and two women. Yes. Or there are, yes, there are women. two men and two women. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Let's correct that. Okay. Somebody else. Oh, well, yesterday I, I the excited, the exciting part of my day was at night after your class, I learned that Disney is bringing Stars Plus. Oh, I told you yesterday, right, about it. It was very interesting, actually, because I watched some videos about the content on the channels. They have a lot of content. I think I'm moving. Well, I already moved. I already have Disney Plus, but I'm upgrading to Stars Plus, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. Nice yeah. product. Have you tried it? Mm, actually, uh, I have Disney Plus. <laughs> Disney Plus. Disney Plus. You know, Americans say Disney Disney, Disney Plus, but Disney. but there are so many Latin American uh, Latin Americans already in, in the United States that they started calling Disney the channel. And if you watch the the Disney Channel in the United States they say Disney. I mean, the company and the channels, they say Disney. <laughs> they got used to it too. And that's only in the, um, uh, in the Disney kids, I think channel. But it's so funny because an American always say Disney, 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 because that's the right pronunciation. So you adapt, I guess. Sandra, was there anything exciting in your day? I can see your big TV on the back. <laughs> okay, I think you, you should remove the effect, you know, so we can watch the, the match. <laughs> That's an amazing TV, wonderful. Get a beer. Your microphone. <laughs> Yes, I mean, cool and taken. <laughs> Sandra, your microphone. Tell us, tell us. Hey, I, I like Sandra's hair. Right, Jocelyn? It's very nice. Yes. I think she's a teacher. She's really something. nice, too. Yeah. She's, she's going to make it. She's going to make it. Try to turn on your microphone. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Let me see if I tell her. Oh, no, nah, she's removing the TV. No, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> okay. So, hey. Trying TVs, testing TVs. Hmm, not a bad idea. What's the craziest TV prototype that you have seen in your life? Come on. Anybody? A weird TV design? No? <sighs> Come on, guys. Talk. Talk to me. The plasma is already a weird TV because yeah. it's too slim. Remember, we had the There's... big one before, and now we had the <laughs> yes. big one. Yes. Previous TVs were big animals. <laughs> It was like this yes. thick. I mean, really thick, right? But now it's but like. Uh -huh. I have seen one. There are, thing. There are a, a plasma with a, with a curve. A the curve. Edge. Yes, a curve. A curved TV. Yes, I saw that on Walmart. Uh huh. Sure I have seen uh, a strange TV. It's not a TV. Um, the, I don't know how to play, but it's like a. It's uh, how you say carpeta. <laughs> a carpet for, for what? Yeah, be older. It's, uh, it's so big, but that isn't that TV. 
the tipo carpeta. Really? Yeah. So, so it folds. Se dobla. It folds. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the weirdest TV I saw on TikTok was like a frame on your wall that when you are not watching TV, is displaying a picture or a painting. For example, from, I don't know, Galileo or whatever, I don't know, Michelangelo, you know, a painting. And if you turn it on, it goes on TV, but it's so slim, so slim that it looks like a piece of paper, you know, on your wall. It's crazy. Okay. Okay. Let me do the attendance and think about the idea of prototypes, prototypes. What other products have prototypes? Let's go. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. She said she was going to be here just listening. Oh my God, turn off your camera. Don't worry. We're here. I know. Thank you, Ada. <laughs> Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Not here yet. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Here. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. No, he's not here. Fatima Ifegenia Lopez Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Thank you for being here too. Where's Fer? Fernando is not with us today. He's watching the game, most likely. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, also watching the game. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Yes, and sir. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Okay, if Jose Antonio doesn't mm -hmm. come, I will have a spot available for 10 minutes. So think about it. Voy a tener un espacio de 10 minutos si Jose Antonio no, no se presenta a clase, okay? Juan Marcos Guzmán. ¿Alguien sabe de Juan Marcos? ¿Alguien lo conoce? No, no teacher. No. I'm concerned. Ok, Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. There she is. Hello, Miriam. Can you please turn on your camera if possible? René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Here yet, Roberto Lizu Mañorellana, he's there. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Hey, it works. <laughs> William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. And Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not here yet. Okay, let's continue. Um, Paréntesis, gracias por estar presente. Yo sé que muchos están enfermos, o están muy ocupados en el trabajo. Les agradezco de verdad que hagan el máximo sacrificio por estar con nosotros. Y los que dicen, pero es que hay algunos que nunca hacen en su cámara. Yo no sé quiénes son. Nunca los veo. No hablan. Casi no hablan. No sé cómo habla inglés porque casi no participa. Miren, al final, eh, si no estuviesen algunos compañeros, no podríamos continuar en el siguiente módulo y así, ¿verdad? Entonces, Hay que aprovechar. Si tú de verdad quieres aprender, talk to me. Okay, talk to your classmates. That's the whole point. Si yo no veo que se equivoquen, no voy a saber qué corregir. Okay, so let's work on that. Yeah. What is that? Who's this? Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just reading the messages. Okay. So let's keep going. Tonight, I was telling you about prototypes. Let's have a small conversation. We have 15 minutes to talk about this together. So tell me, did you think about any prototype? Do you know what is a prototype? In French. Okay. No. <laughs> not from you, not from you. I know you can say that in English. Try it. Yeah, in Spanish it means prototipo, but what's the meaning? I mean, what does prototype mean? It's, a, it's like a sample. <laughs> a sample, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
The first sample? Uh, the first no. model? Yeah. The first model, okay. You know, I'm gonna talk to you about my passion. In 1959, 1959, what? Some guys had an idea about manufacturing a new car model and they based their idea on an Audi. This happened in Germany and they thought about kind of copying an idea of making a Volkswagen with an engine on the front because so far they had an engine on the back with the Bach, the Beetle. They loved the Beetle. Everybody loved the Beetle in Germany, but the engine used to heat up, it was heating up too fast. So they moved the engine to the front, but having the engine on the front used to remove space and there were so many conflicts, right? So they built the first Golf and they named it, um, yep, the Golf, but they named it the Mark One, MK1, the Mark One. Um, I, I own a 1978 Mark One, a Golf. And I'm, I'm I mean, it, the car is fine, it runs, but the engine is, an, is a 1.1 1 .1 engine, you know, a, a 1,100 engine. And so it doesn't run very fast. It's four speeds plus the retro. Okay, so four speed car. It's very small, very compact. I love it. I love that car. So they named it the Mark I because it was the first prototype. Everybody loved it immediately. I mean, it was a boom for his era. So that's the kind of prototype. And it didn't fail. It was a very nice car, very heavy for due to the materials they used, but the point of the product was that anybody as an owner could repair the car. So if it fails, you can repair it. They had a manual that came along with the car and you can repair it. Even a woman can repair the car, just reading the manual, you know? Interesting, don't you think? Right. Mm -hmm. Like a toy. Like a toy, that's right. It's very versatile. Okay, so what do you think? That's a is that a prototype? Okay, a prototype doesn't come to the market, not yet. A prototype is just the idea in physical. Now, take a look. Uh -huh. Again, Jenny? It's like, it's, it's to experiment. To experiment. Mm -hmm. To experiment, bringing an idea to life. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. bringing an idea to life. Bringing an idea to life. So you can touch it, you can try it, you can feel it. Now, look at the next question. What type of new products, in your opinion, required the building of a prototype before mass production, before mass production. We are talking about cars. Of course, you have to make a prototype and test it a lot. What other products require a prototype? Okay, in this case, uh, let me get straight this point. And um, prototype is the same sample. What is the difference between them? Between, I'm sorry. Oh, the first sample, sample and the prototype is the same. Yeah. That's the idea, it's the same, you got it. Okay. So the first sample of a product is a prototype. And actually um, every year there are expositions where the new prototypes are exposed. Future cars, for example, luxurious cars, uh, BMW, BMW just launched a car with the, um, how do you say this? 
An armor. You know what is an armor card? Let me show you. I have the word, but I don't know how to translate it into Spanish. Armor. Yeah, an armored card. You see? Can you see the screen? No. It's, no. It's, it's blurry. It's, it's gray. Armored. 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 That means blindado. They just built yeah. the most expensive BMW in the history of BMW and, and is an armored car. It's really expensive. And the, the windows, the windows are like this thick, you know, they support any, any bullet. It's crazy. Okay, so what other products require a prototype in your opinion? Machine. Machines? Smartphone. Smartphones, yeah, definitely. Okay, does your company make use of prototypes? Does anybody here work in an industry, industrial company? No, nobody produce anything. No. Okay, no product, no production. Okay, hmm, are you sure? But I believe that. Everything that needs to or has to work with engineering needs to be a prototype. Or everything, a prototype. every product that, that works with engines before launching, before before launching, they need to test the product if it contains a, a, a machine inside or an engine. Is that your point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about services? Can you make a prototype of a service? <laughs> mm. Think about mm. it. Think yeah. about Garby. it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Fer Fernando is not here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You can make a prototype of a service. Hotel. Jocelyn Alexander Isela is not here. Let me see who else works in the call center here. Nobody, okay. But guys, when you have a new line of service, a new LOB, what happens first? If you go in, have you ever been to a new LOB, a new line of business, Jocelyn, Alexander? Yes, I moved from an account and I learned something new. But my point is a brand new account. There are no employees. Not really. No, not really? Okay, so the first thing that happens is that you receive test calls, not the real customers. Okay, you receive really? test calls. Yeah, that's the first thing that happens. They test the lines, that they test the software, they test the product it's, uh, itself. Mm, yeah, but I, mm -hmm. but I did some tests. Yeah, even though I, I never changed. The point, okay, so you got my point. The point is to look for flaws, look for flaws. Yeah. Okay, look for mistakes to see if anything fails. Before you launch, you start the business, let's say, before you provide a service, you must test it at every single aspect of the service. So the same happens with internet signal. I want you to be very wide, very wide in your thoughts right now. Think wide, okay? There's a whole world of options for these questions right now. So let's do the questions. Let's start by doing that, talking about this. What does prototype mean? I want you to create a concept of your own, in your own words, what does prototype mean, okay? Then talk about what other products need a prototype before they, they are launched, before they are, produ they are produced in mass. And does your company make use of prototypes? Some tools. Some tools. Some tools need a prototype, totally. Um, Han visto unas llaves que uh, tú las pones y la llave, o sea, lo normal es que tú pongas la llave y la quitas y la vuelves a poner y la vuelves a girar, ¿no? ¿Sí? Ok. Yeah. Inventaron una llave con racket. So, 
pones la llave y solo le haces así y de sola se va regresando. Ya, le das vuelta y ya puedes girar hacia el otro lado. Right? Uh -huh. oh, what's an amazing idea. So, how did they come up with that idea? They made a prototype for sure. And he's totally right. Everything needs a prototype. But I want you to think about the services that your company offers. Do they create some sort of prototype, test calls? Okay, samples, customer samples what we talked about yesterday. So let's talk about it. Think about these questions, okay? Okay, let's do it together. Let's go. Hi. I don't know. Okay. If someone can share the equations. Can someone? Yes, it's a question. Can someone? They're in your chat. In your chat. Yeah. Yes. What uh, does Jose Antonio. Full time mean? Okay. Well, I want to share. I would like to share my my opinion. For me, prototype is the first for this for the ser first sample actually, because it's the it's a design that which is needed to to get a, a more samples right or things like that. Yeah, it's, your prototype is yeah, it's your design and you are based on that design in order to uh, create uh, samples before launching. This is, well, I understood the, the concept, but, I, but I'm not really sure. Okay, well, for me, prototype, prototype sorry, is the first example as a machine, as a video game. It's the first thing that is creator. That's for me, prototype. Someone else? Okay, so what is the second question? Um, it's in the it's in the chat. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, what type of new product, in your opinion, require the building of a prototype before mass production? Yes, yes tell me, sorry. Jose Antonio, talk to us. William, stop watching the game. <laughs> Only uh, numbers and numbers of product because it's like it's prototype. It's, uh, we can create uh, a lot of products yeah. If we don't know how the market, mm -hmm. it what is the opinion of the market that prototype for launch? Okay, the two questions. What uh, type of the? Oh, okay. Okay. It's a, a new product, what? in your opinion, require the building of the prototype before mass mass production. Mass is oh. mass production. Pro mass production. Mm -hmm. 
It's the new product. <laughs> The iPad and aquatic. <laughs> the aquatic yeah, iPad, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. The the I, yeah, the iPhone. <laughs> the, the, the aquatic. It's song, a song, a song, weapon has a prototype. Weapons. Weapons. Mm. Yeah, totally. They need a prototype to test weapons. What else? Yeah, because I, I have an uncle and an uncle, an uncle, were, an uncle, and the an, uh, and, and uncle, they, uncle, 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 uh, uncle, 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 uncle <laughs> is to uh, Tobio. <laughs> okay, uncle, an uncle, and he, mm -hmm. an uncle, <laughs> and he works in uh, police. In the police, and they give to prototype of weapon. Okay. Wait, but a prototype, un prototipo es un modelo. Model. Es Model. un, ajá, es un, um, un ejemplo. Um, molde. Es sí, model. prácticamente es un modelo, un molde. Es a mold, a mold, uh -huh. un molde de cómo va a ser el, um, el producto, right. Mm -hmm. It's just for testing. Okay. That is correct. Uh -huh. Practical and the prototype is to get information about the product. Teacher, and do you applicate the prototype only production and the person? It's a prototype, I mean. I'm sorry, can you repeat that, Anna? Uh, the prototype is no excludes the product, it's a usually the person. Okay. No. Issued by the person. O sea, no exclusivo de un producto, sino que también eh, se considera un prototipo también en una persona, ¿no? Ah. En este caso va enfocado directamente solo a productos. Sí, solo a productos, pero para una persona es un perfil. Uh -huh, un perfil, perfil, no es un prototipo de persona, sino un perfil de persona, un... Um, what do we call this? Prototype. Sí, es un perfil. Okay. A una persona se le perfila de X manera. Prospecto. Okay. <laughs> Esa es la palabra. Prospecto, prototipo. Ajá. Proactivity. Can be. Proactivity is something else. Proactivo. Proactivamente. Oh, pro, pro, proactivity. Proactividad. Proactividad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep thinking. What other products require a prototype? Mm. Yeah, an action, for example. Oh, I don't know. Uh, a book. A book. Now, my point before was can you build a prototype for a service? Puedes construir, construir un, potro, un prototipo para un servicio? Schema. 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 And scheme, mm. and scheme. But uh, it, it sounds like a skill, skin. Skin, yeah, it sounds like skin. Uh, 
this is prototype of the shoes and joyas, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Jewelry. 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 Esa Pandora is a famous mark. <laughs> Pandora is a common mark. I'm sorry, again, Jenny? A choice? Toys. Toys. Or toys. Yeah. Toys. Yeah. Toys. That's right, toys. Very good. Okay. I think you got the idea. That's really good. Okie dokie. Let me go to another group. Keep talking. You're still missing one question, right? Does your company make use of prototypes? Do they use prototypes in your company? Uh, no. Alfonso, uh, do you have prototype weights? Prototype yeah. weights? No, not much. Uh, prototype shoes. Shoes? Uh, play badminton. Play badminton shoes. Mm. Uh, uh, the best. Primero como mayor. I can not list. Zapato. Mayor agarre. Mayor agarre. Better resistance. Better resistance. Better resistance. Better resistance. Major grab. Better grip. Better grip. Grip. That's right. Better grip. Grip. What is grip? Grip. Better grip. Okay. So I'm sure Ada can answer that question. Does your company use prototypes? Okay. No. no? Really? No. You yes. are you are not giving samples of new tools to, for surgeries? No. No, no les llevan ejemplos, o sea, perdón, muestras de nuevas been? herramientas para su cirugía? Mm, no, teacher. Eh, no nosotros las buscamos. Nosotros That's buscamos. Right. That's my point. Uh -huh. Pero sí. no los fabrican, ¿no? o sea, no fabricamos nosotros. Pues. Mm -hmm. Interesting. No, o sea, no ¿Sí? se trata de que ustedes fabriquen los productos. En su caso, es muy probable que algún visitador. Ajá, algún visitador médico, ¿verdad? O alguien que venda equipo médico llegue con, por ejemplo, esa pantalla que tiene atrás, le llegue a ofrecer una mejor, una más con más tecnología, ¿verdad? Con pantalla táctil y todo. ¿verdad? Is the is the is the common uh, ultrasonidos. Ultrasounds, en busca Ultras de la felicidad. Ajá, uh -huh. uh, yes. Equipo de resonancia, resonancia, pluroscopios. Sí, generalmente uno hace la, la, la requisición uh -huh. y, y en la institución compra todo. Entonces, uh -huh. prácticamente uno da solo las especificaciones y los usos. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Pay attention, guys. Now give your opinion, Johnny and. Rene, okay, I'll be right back. For a customer service, for example, is necessary. I think that is same. Yeah. So it can be a manual. Sorry. Can uh, let me. Can be a manual prototype. I don't know. I I I think that is not similar, but. I don't know. It's it's correct, teacher. That in the in the in the case of customer service, I can say that manual is saying the prototype. For example, it's for example when I I, I start working any company mm -hmm. and say me you you have to you have to do this. And give me a manual is saying prototype mm. or no? No. No, because no, it's a product. It is not a product, right? Yeah. It's just a guidelines. 
a guidance a guidance to, on, on what to do yeah it's different okay 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 so if, if we if we talk about service uh which are with, uh, what is the prototype in this case a ver, la idea que le daba del servicio, un prototipo en un servicio, era como probar una, una nueva manera de atención al cliente, podríamos decir. Les pongo un ejemplo. Antes, eh, había una empresa de telefonía que no, no voy a mencionar marca, ya no puedo seguir haciendo eso. A ver, una empresa de telefonía muy, que tuvo mucho impacto cuando vino El Salvador, pero usualmente en las empresas de telefonía te tenían parado haciendo cola para poder entrar y ser atendido, ¿no? Algún reclamo en servicio al cliente, incluso para pagar las facturas, tenías que ir a pagar o ir a hacer algún reclamo y tenías que hacer una gran cola. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo desarrollaron ellos la idea de mejorar el servicio en ese aspecto? Ajá. Online. Eso ya es el extremo, ya, ya hoy en oh. día ya todo es en línea, ¿ah? pero ¿cómo, llega, vaya, ¿cómo llegaron hasta allí? Antes de, de, del boom del internet, estoy hablando, los noventas, uh -huh. luego en los dos mil ya no te estabas parado, ¿qué pasó después? Siempre ibas a la agencia, pero ¿ahora? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo fue evolucionando eso? Vamos, todos nosotros creo que vivimos eso, todos tenemos que hacer la misma edad. O nos no, llevaban de la mano <ríe> a la fuerza y andábamos corriendo por todos lados. ¿Cómo estaba la gente? Ya no andaba, ya no estaba parada. Ahora habían sillas. Ajá, entonces el prototipo pudo haber sido para la empresa uh, una de dos: o contratar una empresa que se encargase del diseño del, del espacio con el que se disponía o. De ellos mismos surgió la idea. Entonces, el prototipo en el servicio pudo haber sido cómo ubicar las sillas dentro del local para brindar un mejor servicio. De hecho, lo primero que se hizo, y era muy popular, y creo que todavía se ven las bandas, las bandas eh, retráctiles en los bancos, en muchos lugares, right? Eso es muy común. Ahora no, ahora son sillas. ¿Cómo fue evolucionando eso? Ahora, ¿qué más hay aparte de las sillas? Cuando vas a un banco o algún lugar. Mm. Estoy hablando en español, hablen. Bueno, en, en los bancos hay hasta sillones súper cómodos. ¿Y entonces cómo sabes, cuál, cómo sabes cuándo es tu turno? Están las pantallas con, con numeritos y todo eso. Y ya te dieron datos antes. Te dieron un ticket. Y ahora ya, ya incluso ya ni hay personas que le den ese ticket, sino que uh -huh. te llega y a la pantallita. Ya ha evolucionado tanto eso. Yo tengo solo una tarjeta de crédito. Solo una tarjeta tengo en toda mi vida y no la he cambiado. Y ahora ya es negra la tarjeta. Y no la ocupo. Lo chistoso es que no la ocupo. O sea, la ocupo para lo que voy a gastar. Entonces, lo que gasto es lo que voy a pagar. O sea, no sé si me explico. La gasolina, por ejemplo, el súper. Ya tengo presupuestado eso. Se lo ocupo en la tarjeta para ganar puntos y ya, solo lo deposito el día siguiente, de hecho. Ya, entonces hago la transferencia ahora. Ahora, pero cuando voy al banco por algún motivo, eh, incluso si voy a pagar algún recibo, la última vez fue renovar la, la tarjeta de circulación. ¿Qué pasó? Me pidieron la tarjeta y como es negra, la deslizan y te dan el número en base al tipo de la tarjeta que tenés. Era el primero en la línea. No había nadie esperando en esa línea. Y el montón de gente esperando. Entonces, hasta eso ha cambiado. Ya, hasta por el nombre te llaman, pues. O sea, y todo en base a lo que decía Caro, ¿no? Y hasta ahí. Entonces, ¿cómo llegó el banco a hacer todo eso? Experimentando y un prototipo, un servicio puede ser ese. La, ese, ese proceso de experimentar cómo vamos a mejorar este servicio entonces en tu empresa algún servicio que hayas notado que con el tiempo que tenés de, de estar ahí cuando llegaste era de una manera, ahora es de otra manera la recepción la ha modificado no sé en mi empresa cada semana hay cambios ¿Really? 
<risa> de personal. <risa> de personal, de todo. Bueno, ok. Es bien, bien, pero... Bueno, ahí se genera energía eh, eléctrica, renovable le llaman. Mm. Creo que ahí se aplica bastante el tema de los prototipos ¿verdad? para la maquinaria que usan, porque al menos ahí nosotros estamos en la sede central aquí en Santa Tecla, donde no hay ninguna maquinaria pesada, solo hay como generadores. Ajá, como generadores y está el, 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 el laboratorio que es donde hacen todas las pruebas, mm. los prototipos. Y eso se lo llevan a las plantas que están en Aguachapán y en Berlín. Y allá uh -huh. es donde llegan a poner eso como en práctica, a ver si funciona o no funciona. Uh -huh. Eso sería también como un prototipo. Qué interesante. Uh -huh. Wow. Por eso cambian personal tanto, de tantos que se electrocutan todas las semanas. Pues no, pues no sé, en realidad si es por eso. Es porque... <risa> joke. Estoy bromeando. Ok. <risa> But that's the idea. Ya me entendieron. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Think about it. Ok, ya casi regresamos. Think about it. Solo me falta visitar un grupo. Keep going. Ok. Ok, esas primeras tres preguntas en cada nuevo tema son para ablandar un poco el conocimiento en relación al, al tema, ¿no? So, a ver, ya entendimos que es un prototipo, ¿no? ¿Qué es un prototipo? First model of a product. The first model of a product. So you can try it, you can touch it, you can feel it, you can smell it, right? Okay. Um, in your own opinion, what type of new products require the building of prototypes before they are produced in mass? ¿Qué otros productos son? Necesitan un prototipo. Uh -huh. In my opinion, teacher, all products, but uh, because it's necessary knows how it how it's going to work. It's necessary so, to, know, to know how it's going to work, uh -huh, how it's going to uh, work. Going, uh, how, it's, how it's going to work. But uh, with Sandra, we're talking about uh, medicines, mm -hmm. uh, maybe canned food. Canned food. Uh -huh, and Programs. Software, software and software. apps. Software, right? Software. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now, mm -hmm. y en su compañía, quiero que me lo expliquen. En su compañía, hacen uso de prototipos. In my in my company, uh, we are this distrib distribu distributors. Huh? distributors distributors huh? but dealers. The, the brand, uh -huh, dealers. but the Central Branch o mm -hmm. Casa Matriz is in Costa Rica. The headquarters. The headquarters. Uh, is Head in Costa Rica. Quarters. Can quarters. It? Head qu qu quarters. Headquarters. Qu quarters. Quarters. Uh -huh. Cabal. Headquarters. Uh -huh. Quarters. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are in Costa Rica. Uh -huh. Yes. I think they, they use prototypes for for new products. What products do you distribute? A uh, paints. Paints? Paints, yes. We distribute paints. paints. The sprays, uh, uh, um, glue for B PVC. No? Uh -huh, for PVC. PVC glue, uh, really? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. What, what's the name of your company? Blanco. Blanco, Blanco. or Bian? Blanco. No, Blanco. Ah, oh, Lanco, Lanco. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I heard that brand. And you only distribute with Lanco painting. Mm -hmm. Lanco yes. paint, Lanco paint. Lanco paint. Very nice. Okay, what about you, Sandra? Do you provide services or produce products? Services, teacher. Uh, uh, the service ap um, applic applic Ap uh, applies applies uh, the prototype prototype mm -hmm. how yes uh, yeah oh it's a question okay uh -huh. it depends I les estaba dando el ejemplo a otros compañeros y rápido de um, cómo ha evolucionado el servicio al cliente en las telefonías 
Antes, en los 90, teníamos que ir a hacer grandes colas para pagar el recibo del, del teléfono, ¿no? ¿Y qué pasaba? Que tenías que estar parado, esperando tu turno. Luego se evolucionó, se pusieron tickets, se evolucionó más, pusieron bandas retráctiles para hacer una sola cola porque la gente es mucho desorden. Después se evolucionó más y pusieron sillas. Sigue evolucionando, te siguieron dando tickets y la pantalla y el audio, ¿verdad? El número. Ok, hoy en día, de hecho, si tú eres cliente preferencial, te lo dejan saber en la puerta dándote un ticket preferencial, o sea, el número único, ¿verdad? para que gente preferencial. Entonces, todo eso fue evolucionando. Pero, ¿cómo se llegó a eso? Se crearon prototipos. Una de dos. O la empresa contrató una, una empresa eh, que se dedica solo al desarrollo de ideas o de diseños de, 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 de la sucursal, digamos, eh, para, um, para adecuar la, el espacio, ¿no? O dos, ellos mismos llevaron a cabo el desarrollo de esa idea poniendo la silla de una manera, poniendo la silla de otra manera, y ese, esa acción, desde mi perspectiva, es un prototipo, porque es un experimento, probemos así, no funcionó, oh, probemos así, y ahí vas, hasta que ya esa idea va evolucionando, y es, la primera idea que tuviste fue el prototipo, bonito, ¿no? Ok, entonces el prototipo, In the products and service. From my perspective, yes, it does. You can apply it. Okay, let's go back. It's 8.52. Interesting topic. Let's go. I told you, I told you. <laughs> What? <laughs> no, no. Okay. Final round, zero to zero. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I gave you some time because you were very excited talking about these topics. Estaba muy emocionado hablando de esos temas. Okay, y um, bueno, solo a dos grupos les pude dar esa idea y, y me gustó mucho la idea de pensar de que todo lo que hagas en pro de desarrollar un servicio lo puedes considerar como un prototipo. ¿Cuál fue el prototipo? La primera idea que tuviste para desarrollar ese servicio. Uh -huh. hmm. O sea, si tú lo ves desde la perspectiva de, de desarrollo de una idea, la primera idea fue tu prototipo. Ese esquema, esquema, ese scheme, ese scheme que creaste, el, el um, draft, el, el, ¿cómo decimos en español? El machote, ¿no? That's like the prototype. The prototype. Trabajé en una empresa bien grande, una academia. En 2009, les chambreo. Eh, tuve yo la idea de, de crear como un bucket, un balde donde tuvieras el montón de gente que ya supiese inglés y entrenarlas para trabajar en call centers. Y dejé de perder contacto con este chero al que le di la idea. Años después, él puso su, su negocio, ¿no? Basándose en esa idea. Fue un boom. O sea, él no, no soltó la idea y ahí está. El punto es de que el esquema que él dibujó de nuestra plática, ahí lo tiene todavía, una hoja de papel <ríe> con medio dibujo del, del logo de, de la empresa y ahí está el logo. Entonces eso, eso es el prototipo. La primera idea que sale de tu cerebro y tú la puedes eh, volver algo tangible. That's the point. ¿Ves? Si ¿Sí me explico, es un servicio ahora. From your perspective and in English, let's continue in English. I'm sorry, I get excited. I told you, I get excited with these topics. So from your perspective in your company, have you seen, have you seen any idea being developed in time? Any, any idea? I'm sure you have. So if your company works with services, have you noticed any change 
on any process? No. No. At all. Está mentiroso. ¿Qué tal? Incluso la señora que barre, hoy ya no ocupan la barresola, hoy ocupan otro tipo de barredora, por ejemplo. Todo eso pueden decir que es en pro de mejorar un servicio. Ok, so come on, guys. Be creative, be creative. Ok, good. Let me do the attendance so we can move on with the conversation on your book. What? Ok. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Ada, me pone nervioso ese tic, tic, tu. Pero bueno, estoy en quirófano todavía. Pacientes okay. no lo han traído. <risa> Please, don't do that. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I get, I get ya nervous. lo voy a meter adentro al quirófano. De, o del ti, ti. No. I want to go. Come on. No. Guys, come on. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Is Alan here? Not today. Ok. Carolina no. Yvette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez, Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales, Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez, Present. Thank you. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Señor, nos quedamos 10 minutos después de la clase, please. Ok. Hey. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Roberto Luis Omaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Emelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Randa Verde. Present. And Rina Marisabel Alvarez de Chavez. Present. Good, good. Okay, let's continue. So, up next, we have a conversation that you can read. Help me. On page 25. So, what are we doing in this lesson? Okay, our mission is to describe the benefits of building a new product prototype before manufacturing before manufacturing. So let's read this conversation. I'll do it first and then I'll let you read as usual. Okay, so it says, the accelerator, let me mute you, sorry. Give me one minute. There we go. Okay, the accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters so they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. One more time. Great, I think our best choice is to hire steel masters so they build a good prototype to help us spot, to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom, the prototype will help our manufacturers, again, the product, I'm sorry, the prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovative features, features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear 
they will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I'll work on the sketch of the part. And you might want to start with the description and the, the and I'm sorry, with the description and specifications of each, with the description and specifications of each. So still masters start working. All right, all right. It's just two people talking. I need two volunteers. All right. Wait, do you have any questions? Any new vocabulary? Sketch. 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 The sketch. Uh, this could be a sketch. The first drawing. El borrador. Oh. The sketch. 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 Mm -hmm. It's like the first it's design. Uh -huh, the first design of, of the product. Okay. The first design. Again, <laughs> it's not a commercial. I'm sorry, but this is all I have handy. So if you notice, there, there's a prototype here. I mean, uh, the, the sketch is here. To make this logo, I'm sure they draw it. They draw the idea first. So that's the sketch. Okay. That's the sketch. Uh huh. Any other any other word? Subtle. Haha. -ha, subtle. So if you have a bicycle, you have the handlebars. The handlebars. Okay. The frame. The frame of the bicycle. The whole frame. And the saddle is where you put the. Put you put your feet. Oh no no wait no 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 that's the seat. The saddle is the seat. The seat. Oh, okay. Yeah, the seat where, where you put your butt. <laughs> that's the saddle. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Those are the pedals and the saddle. Pedals are not mentioned. Okay. So this is a bicycle, right? A new bicycle model. Okay. Two volunteers. Alexander. Alexander, one more. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. The accelerator. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The accelerator has a green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire a steel masters. So they will build a boat. So they build a good prototype to help help you use, use a spot any plow we haven't identified in the design. design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovative feature of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I will, I'll work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with the description and the specifications of each. So still masters start working. All right. Excellent. Repeat. Accelerator. Accelerator. Better. Accelerator. Una, un consejo. No cerres la boca. Accelerator. Er. Accelerator. Er. Better. Accelerator. Better. Accelerator. 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 Good. Okay. Algo que puedes hacer, no sé, yo siento que toco los, mis dientes con la punta de la lengua cuando hago eso, sin cerrar la boca y sin cerrar los dientes. Accelerator, accelerator. It could be an option. Okay, next. Steel masters. 
still masters. Acuérdense, las palabras en inglés que empiezan con S, agarra aire y soltarlo entre los dientes. Still masters. Still masters. Still, still, master. still masters. Está en plural. Still masters. Still masters. Good. Y siempre que hay dos S unidas en palabras, pues no haces una pausa. So decís, to help us spot. To help us spot. Help us spot. Help, help us spot. spot. Let's read. Help to help us spot. spot any flaw. To help us spot any flaw. Good meal. We haven't identified. We haven't identified. Perfect. The design. Okay, Alexander. There's a difference between very and very, very. Be very accurate. Repeat, be very accurate. Be very accurate. Alex. Be very accurate. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Innovative. 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 Features. 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 Better. Features. Okay. In addition. Miguel, in addition. In addition. Addition. Right. Addition. There you go. In addition. In addition. Okay. In addition. And, and again, and specifications of each. Okay. With the description and specifications of each. Read again, Alex. With the description and specifications of each. With the description and specification of each. No sé, la S al final. And specifications of each. Okay. With the, speci with the description and specifications. Hiciste una pausa. Let's do it. You can do it. The description okay. and specifications of each. So of each. Okay. With the description and specification of each. Better. Okay. ¿Cómo corrijo eso? Repeat, 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 repeat. Y una cosa. Exageren, okay? En la pronunciación. Cuando están aprendiendo eso. So, let's do it together again. How many are we already? We are 15. Good. Let's go in trios. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Miriam, let's go. Roberto, if you can. Go ahead and stop. Okay. Okay, we are ready. Yes. Who wants to be the Diana? Me, Sandra. Okay. Okay. Rina, do you want to be Tom? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. The Excel accelerator has green has green light to be product. Now we need to work on the prototype. Prototype, no, prototype. Mm. Right. I think our best choice is to hire a steel master. A steel master. So they will adore prototype to help you spot any flow we haven't identified in this design. I agree. Tom, the prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the homeless bear, bear the frame 
and the sublet, which are the innovator factory of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then, then I work on the steps of the part and you might want to start with description and a, spe a specification of it so a stairs master start working. All right. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to be Diana who wants to be done. Uh, Rina, do you want to be done now? And then, okay. and then Sandra. Okay. okay, I will start. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to have a star master so they build a good prototype to help, help us support any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the helmet bars, the frame and the sunlight, which are innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Wait. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters so they build a good prototype to help us to help us <laughs> to help us spot any flaw we haven't uh, identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate. accurate? To be very accurate with the des design of the handlebars. Accurate. 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 Accu accurate. 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 Accurate with the design of the handlebars. The frame, the frame, and the saddle, which are the inno innovative. In innovative. Innovative. Oh, yeah. innovative. Innovative. Are the innovative <laughs> features of the ex accelerate. Accelerate. accelerator 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 good point in addition the prototype will ensure communication is clear they will know exactly what we want totally then i work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with the description and the specifications of each. So still masters start working. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, we go. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire a steel masters, steel masters, so they build a good prototype to help help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate, 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 mm -hmm. accurate with the design of the handlebars the frame on the saddle, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly, exactly what we want. Totally. Then I work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with the description and the specifications of each 
So, still masters, start working. All right. Okay. One more time. The accelerator has green light to be produced. To be now, produced. To be produced. To be produced now, we need to work on the prototype. Wait, I think our best choice is to hire. Point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know they will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I work on the sketch of the parts. And you might want to start with the description and specification of each. So, Esther Master, start working. All right. I'm Diana. Okay. The accelerator has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Okay. Uh, great. I think our best choice is, is to hire a cell master so they build a good prototype to help us spot any flow we, ha we have to identify in design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame, and the the saddle, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. 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 Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Totally. They, then I work on the sketch of the parts. And on the you schedule? Might, on the schedule of the parts. And you might want to start with the description and specification of each. So a cell master start working. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, how do you say innovative? Innovative. 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 Ah, okay. Thanks. Brinco, de era, bien brinco, de era por tener un cuarto como el tuyo, William. Oh my God. <laughs> That's right. It's so cool. Looks so awesome. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, your next mission. Let's see, Renee is missing. Fatima, Miriam, and Renee. Miriam and Renee. Where's Miriam? Okay, 10, 9, 8. There we go. Okay, so Miriam and Rene, they were the last to join. So help me up. Let's start reading whenever you're ready, Rene and Miriam. Okay, you know what? Before you do that, let's see. Accelerator, accelerator, accelerator. Produced, produced. Prototype, prototype. Higher, higher. Believe it or not, steel masters, steel masters. 
identified, identified, design, okay? Manufacturers, very similar. Manufacturers, manufacturers, tutors, tutors, okay? Accurate, accurate. Handlebars, frame, saddle, saddle. Innovative, innovative. Features, features. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We said sketch, sketch, sketch. Specifications. Specifications is not a specifications, not specifications. Okay, all right, let's do it. Miriam, Rene, one, two, three, action. The elevator as great like to be products. Now we need to work out the pro. Prototype. Prototype. Renee. Renee. What are you, Renee? So Renee is working. Oh, really? Okay. Is in my group. Okay, try it. Continue. Great. <laughs> Okay, I need another volunteer. I just can't believe it. Sandra, hey. help me. Great. I think our best choice in, is to hire the stall master to the the ball, a good prototype to help spot any fly we haven't identified in the in the design. Miriam? I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the fragments, and the childers, with the are innovative factors of the elevator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally. Then I work on the schedule of the parts and you mean want to start with the description and a specification of A. So still master start working. All right. Very good. Okay. Eh, esta parte de las conversaciones como esa que acabamos de leer tienen un gran valor agregado. No tienen idea. Y si quieren tener la idea, les invito a que vean cada video en el que hayamos hecho esta práctica. Por eso cada vez que les leo por primera vez, lo hago despacio, me acerco a la cámara para ver que me vean la boca fea que tengo y traten de articular igual que yo. Es el trabajo de un profesor. Debería de ser el trabajo de un teacher de inglés o de cualquier idioma, de hecho, asegurarse que sus alumnos lo imiten en la articulación, ante todo en esto de las clases virtuales. No tengo otra manera de asegurar la calidad de lo que estoy dando que esta, ¿no? Ahora, Dependerá de ti si realmente quieres aprender. Si tú le ves el valor a eso, pues volvés al video y revisas varias veces ese momento en el que te estoy leyendo yo solo esto. Y después, si tú leíste en algún momento, que claro que lo hiciste porque lo dividí en grupos y tengo que visitar cada uno de los grupos que creo, eh, puedes escuchar de ti mismo, ¿ok? Y poner atención y comparar entre lo que yo te leí y lo que tú leíste. Hmm. Y repetir, repetir, repetir hasta poder alcanzar la pronunciación adecuada de cada una de estas palabras. Lo podrías hacer si le dedicas tiempo. Ok. 
sort of an observation. Let's keep going. So let's discuss these questions with a partner. We only have 10 minutes for this activity. So what are two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to build a prototype of the accelerator? What are the distinctive features of the new product? And what two tasks will Diana and Tom do before ordering the prototype to Steel Masters? So I'm gonna split you again, and your mission is to answer these three questions. Remember, have a conversation with your classmate and go like, no, you're wrong, that's not the answer. Yes, that's the answer. No, that's not the answer, okay? Have a discussion about the answers, the possible answers. You will find them on the script here, okay? Let's do it together. Hi, Davis. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Fatima. Hello. Hello. Okay, we are Hello. going to the situation. Yes, did you hear me? Yeah. Mm. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Teacher, what is the page? Oh, I'm sorry. This is page 25. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, just let me one moment, please. Okay. Okay, let's discuss the question. What are the what are two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to be a prototype of the LA? accelerator. I, you can read the conversation once again. Yeah. Okay. Who else was in this group? Nope, it's only the in two of group, you. Sandra... Mm -hmm. Sorry? It's only the two of you. I thought that there was someone else here, but yeah, I think Sandra was in this group. Okay, go ahead, guys. Okay, thank you. What are the features? Features. I don't know. They the answer can be they will know exactly what we want. For example, they will know exactly what we want. Pero, uh, it's for the client. Or no? The distinctive features. Features. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Is yeah. Is the handlebars, the frame, and the saddle features? What is the distinctive distinctive 
feature of the new product. Yeah. yeah. The fuego and the sour. Ah, uh, yeah. Distinct feature. 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 Features. Features. Feature. Features. Features. Feature. 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 The pronunciation is same when I say sketch, schedule, it's same. Same feature. 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 Uh, feature. 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 Features. 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 Features.
Then you have the distinctive features. Right after that, you have the distinctive features. Okay. Keep it up. Okay, teacher. You're done? Yes. Okay, what are the two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to build a prototype of the accelerator? Um, it work of the sketch of the parts and uh, want to start with the description on the specification. Mm. The reasons? No. What are the reasons why they wanted to build a prototype? Ah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> The reason help us spot any flow we have in the field in the design. In the design, uh huh. In the design. design. And number two, help. Prototype. We have our manufacturers to, to be, be very, to be very accurate. Accurate. Uh -huh. accurate with, with the design with the design that's it with the design very good okay what's the second question second question says what are the distinctive features of the new product different and the sander which and are the handlebars the frame and the saddle the handlebars the frame and the saddle Ah, the handlebar. The saddle. That's right. Three right. parts. And the saddle. That's right. They, they are the innovative features. Very good. What to ask for. Okay, so let's see if the others got the same responses, the same answers. Ooh, okay, let's see if everybody got the same answers. Yeah. Okay, what are two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to build a prototype of the accelerator? Why do they want to, buy, to build a prototype? Reasons to build a prototype to help us pull and flow. to help us spot any flaw correct flaw. to help us spot any flaw that's the first reason the first reason what's the second reason help our manufacturers to be very accurate Accurate, very good. Help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design, right? With the design. With the design, that's it so far. With the design. Okay. And last question What two tasks? I'm sorry, what are the distinctive features of the new product? Number two. What are the distinctive features of the new product? Handlebar. Okay. What else? The saddle and frame. Correct. The frame and the Handlebars, saddle. the frame and the saddle. That's right. And lastly, what two tasks will Yana and Tom do before ordering the prototype to the steel masters? What two actions will they perform? Do the sketch. Okay, number one. And, and other is start with the description and the specifications. Of 
You got it. Very good. Okay, now your last task of the day. It's building vocabulary. We have to rank. Rank. What is rank? rank. What do you think? Rank. The advantages um, of advertising from most relevant to least relevant. Discuss yeah. ranking with the partner. So, what is it? What is a ranking? Order. Order. order, order in the, on the. In the, the decrease uh, or increase. Uh -huh. list. Excellent. What about you, Jenny? What do you think is a rank? Is uh, a specific ordering depend of the 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 characteristic of in evaluation or order to to all to major from minor to major okay okay from least relevant to the most relevant okay in this case most relevant so you're going to start from the greater to the least relevant, to the lowest, okay? The bigger in importance to the lowest in important, in importance, I'm sorry, importance. So advantages of prototyping, advantages of prototyping. Again, uh -huh. prototyping is building the first sample of your product to be tested. So what are the advantages? Is it obtain more details, describe the product more effectively, verify the functionality of the product, example given, identify flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage. Oh, this is not the design stage. No, no, no. You already designed the product and now you're testing it with a sample. Oh, review initial product shapes or branding images. Elicit feedback from customers or early adopters. Assess the performance of various materials. Materials, various materials. Ensure potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype, sourcing the parts, putting them together, etc. Okay, so let's do this together. This is our last activity. You only have 10 minutes to perform it or so. So make sure you do it in groups. I'm gonna split you one last time, please. Do the ranking, this is very important. Okay. Let's see where is he? Okay, let's go. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Three number four. Run the advantage of prototyping, prototyping from mass relevant to least relevant. Six is your ranking with a partner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Obtain more details. 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 Obtain more details. Details. Obtain more details. We describe the product more, eff more effective. What do you think of this? Close. Um, Evaluate. Assess what? the performance of various materials. What? 
assess, assess the performance of various materials. Very materials. No, 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 but the answer is next. For example, your turn number five. This is answer. Obtain more details to describe the product more effectively. What what this? Let me see. Let me compare. Okay. This. These are are the the answer, teacher? Yes. No. No. Do. No. No, ese, ese cuadro solo es, es, es por sí solo. So, read. Um, what are the advantages of prototyping? ¿Cuáles son las oh, ventajas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Okay. So, what is in, yes, the relevant, mm -hmm. most relevant. Okay. What is the most relevant? Verify the functionality of the product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number one. It's number one. Yeah, that's the most relevant. Yes. Verify functionality. Okay. Make it bigger. Es que no has descargado el libro, estás en la página web aún. Ajá, es que el navegador, el, 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 el PDF. El, ajá, no me lo abre bien con Adobe. Mm. Pero creo que sí se puede. Pero... Update, update. Update. <ríe> Aquí no se abre. Sí, solo es lo más pequeño. Hace más grande la imagen. Con el plus sign. El plus sign que tenés ahí en el 81%. Up, up, up. Sería un mal teacher. Uh -huh. Sería un mal teacher, le digo yo. No, se va a hacer un puesto. Voy. That's better. Voy, mucho. No, bueno, no, it's okay. Scroll down. There you go. Okay. That's better. This is number verify number one. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Num and number four. And four is um, ensure potential manufacturers are cop. Capable of, capable. Making, capable of making the prototype. Mm -hmm. uh, can see, uh, ensure potential manufacturers are cap capable. 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 capable of making the prototype. Number four, more number four. Mm -hmm. Yes. And number five, and five is access, access the, the performance, performance of various ma material, 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 material. Okay. And the last is feedback from customer. Feedback from customer. Okay. Okay, finish. <laughs> okay. You sure? From customer. Review. Um, check. 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 Yes. Journey. Review initial number one or early two verify function three obtain more data to describe problem or ensure potential manufacturers by access for mm, manufacturers ensure 
potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype. Sourcing the parts, putting Okay, that will be the the ranking. I don't know if correct. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Let me just check. Uh, Voy a checar un grupo más y regresamos todos. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Hello. Have you agreed? Mm, we are no, no, no. Uh, we have some doubts, but in this case we have done, but we have some doubts. You have some doubts about what? Which part? Mm, the order of the numbers. Is this relevant or not relevant? Let's see. What what did you say is the most relevant? Review initial production so branding much. One, two, three. What about verify the functionality of the product? The functionality. Identify flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage. Hmm. Okay, we are okay. going to start working again. Review mm -hmm. initial product shapes or, or, or branding images. Hmm. Yeah, that could be number two. Elicit feedback for customers. No, assess the performance. Oh, assess the performance of various materials. Ensure potential yeah. manufacturers are capable of making the product type. Tarsing the parts, putting them together, etc. Mm -hmm. De hecho, te darías cuenta de la última antes de darte cuenta de las flaws. Primero te darías cuenta de que las potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype. O sea, ya probaste las muestras, las partes, al ponerlas unidas, al ensamblar el, el producto. Entonces ya te, ya te deja la idea de qué tan difícil va a ser armarlo, ¿no? Ah, pero como no es un orden de proceso, sino un orden de importancia. Okay. Yeah, cosa seria, ¿no? Ok, let's go back. Let's see, let's see the other responses. Okay, so let's see. What do you think is the number one? What is the most relevant? ¿Qué es lo más relevante cuando ya tenés el prototipo? ¿De qué te va a servir tener el prototipo? ¿Qué es lo más relevante que va a ocurrir? Verify the functionality of the product. Identify flaws that were not for a scene in the design stage. Please. I agree. I agree with you, Miguel. Yes. So that will be number one. Okay. It's very important. You verify the functionality of the product and to have flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage. What will be number two? Everybody, everybody, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. Let's get this started. Let's get this started. Uh huh. I think that is review initial product shape or branding image. I don't know. Images, images. Uh huh. I think this, but I don't. Yeah, I will agree with you. What do you What do you think, guys? Rene, everybody. It's Antonio, Sandra, Johnny, William, Jocelyn. I, I think. Or, or uh, obtain more details to describe the product more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm 
they're very similar, right? Obtain more details to describe the product more effectively and review initial product shapes or, or branding images. Como que las dos se parecen mucho, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. let's not yeah. differentiate. Let's go with two. So let's say this is three, okay. Um, elicit feedback, Rene, for, from customers or early adopters. Para mí sería como lo último. Pero es que eso le decía yo, Jocelyn, que es como, es bien fácil, ojo, es bien fácil caer en la tentación de ordenar esto en un proceso lógico de pasos. Y no es eso lo que estás evaluando. Estás evaluando la relevancia de estos puntos, que son... Eh, las ventajas de crear un prototipo, ojo, son las ventajas de crear un prototipo. ¿Cuál ventaja es más importante para, para ti como productor? Access to performance. Access the performance of various materials. Fíjate que por ahí les decía yo, ensure potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype, sourcing the parts, putting them together, etc. Esto como que es de lo primero que te vas a dar cuenta durante el proceso mm -hmm. de armarlo, ¿no? So, this is very important because if, if a manufacturer cannot assemble your product, I mean, they cannot put it together. Uh-oh. Okay. And yes, Rene, yes, you're totally right. It is a feedback from customers or early adopters. Assess the performance of various materials was very important as well. Okay. So yes, that could be the order. But in reality, in realidad, aquí hay mucho involucrado. There's a lot involved here. Um, costos es uno de ellos. Y, y cuando probas un prototipo, todo el mundo está involved en, un, en la producción de un, de un nuevo producto, valga la redundancia. De, de caridad hasta contabilidad, alguien de finanzas, ¿no? Que diga, bueno, miren, esto está bien, pero ese material que han ocupado para esta parte va a salir demasiado caro, so. Ok. Si ¿Sí me explico, es, es lindísimo esto. Yeah. Ok, guys, we have to go. One minute, I'm staying with José Antonio. Let's do the attendance. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Grisuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez, Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales, mm -hmm. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, sir. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán, Carla Yanet Maya Herrera. Present, good night, teacher. Good night, Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Present. Good night. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night. Enrina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Good night. Present. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Mr. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Oops. So, <laughs> I don't know. No, ya sé, ya sé. Okay, ¿cómo estamos, Jose Antonio? How are you doing? Okay, uh, young. Stressful. Stressed. I'm stressed. stressed. Why are you so stressed? Too much work? Yeah. Okay. A lot of work. A lot of work. What do you do? Where do you work? And the construction. On construction. Okay. So you are standing all day. Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, what's your schedule at work? Mm. I work from two. I work from two hmm. star H again. Okay, I work from 8 a.m. to? To 5 p.m. To 5 p.m. Okay, Monday to Friday. And Saturday. Monday to Friday. Mon Monday to Friday. Monday, Monday to, to Friday. Mon Monday to Friday. Okay, and Saturday? No? Mm. No. Mm, no. Okay. Unless it is urgent. Unless it is urgent. Repeat. Unless it is urgent. Unless it is urgent. Urgent. Okay. A menos que sea urgente. No? Yes. Yes. Do you work independently? Are you an independent um, constructor too? Do you work by yourself? Trabaja independientemente. Independiente. No. No? Okay. No. Extra money <laughs> on Saturdays. <laughs> That's a good idea. No. Okay, bien. Hay que dedicarle ah, algo de tiempo a la familia. A ver, sí. ¿qué, hemos, ¿qué hemos estado haciendo, eh, José Antonio, que para practicar un poco más? Eh, he estado aprendiendo vocabulario. ¿Cómo? Bueno, me descargué una, una aplicación que... que que tira las palabras en, en español y en inglés. Uh -huh. Y estoy ahí repasando, por ejemplo, solo la, la, las horas de, de la mediodía. Ok. Ok. Solo tiene media hora para almorzar o una hora. Una hora. Una hora. Ok. Sí, una pero hora. imagino que ah, al mediodía está, pero... Como decimos en salvadoreño, encandilado, ¿verdad? Porque está eh, trabajando, bueno, eh, no sé si trabaja con las manos o, 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 o solo es el, el, el capataz ahí dando latigazos, ¿no? No, no, eh, es, es en el área de, de, de costos. Ah, en el área de costos, no, sí. pues no es difícil, Ajá. no es difícil el trabajo ahí. Sí. No es tan cansado, pero sí es estresante. Sí, es estresante estar viendo todos los presupuestos de, de los proyectos, de cómo son los edificios comerciales. Sí, me imagino que ha de ser difícil. Eh, ante todo, si las cosas no cuadran. Sí, el de cuadrarlos. Los tres elementos. Uh -huh. El costo, los tiempos, las capacidades uh -huh. que tiene. Wow. Sí, qué que, que estrés, la verdad. Pero podría ser un hobby esto. <ríe> ¿Qué hace para entretenerse? Eh, aquí en mi casa con, bueno, con mis dos niños. Y los fines de semana que estamos siempre... Eh, Sábado y domingo en la iglesia. ¿no? Uh -huh. Después de, okay. de las dos para abajo. Uh -huh. De en las noches. Sábado y domingo. noches que me, ajá, que me pongo a, a... A veces me pongo a leer los, los libros. Los, a repasar aquí. Uh -huh. Pero siento que repaso y repaso. Y, y, y se me olvida. Mucho vocabulario. A ver, entonces hagamos una cosa, lo que le sugería ahora. Revisa los videos. Uh, esa parte en la que leemos las conversaciones que están en los libros, eh, ese momento, revíselo, escriba o, o rebúsquelo en el libro, esa parte, 
y empieza a, a, a sin leer nada más, a intentar repetir, repetir, repetir lo que, lo que yo les estoy leyendo. Luego, eh, repítalo usted leyéndolo varias veces. Ya cuando siente un poco de confianza, grábese, grábese leyendo eso. Ok. Y vuelve al video, vuelve a su teléfono, dele play al video, dele play al teléfono y empiece a juzgarse a sí mismo. Mm, dije bien eso. Mm, no. Sí, de hecho estaba grabando, me puse a grabarme también. <risa> Unos videos ahí, unas más que todas unas conversaciones. Sí, eso, eso ayuda bastante, ah. la verdad, porque, pues sí, uno, uno así es. Fíjese que yo he basado ese, esa técnica en ese sentido, nada más. Porque uno es así, de ser humano. Es fácil que uno juzgue a los demás. Pero cuando se viene a juzgar en serio uno mismo, ya de adulto, y uno dice, bueno, yo soy así, yo soy así. Lo primero que le sale, no sé, a mí me pasó. A los 35 empecé a hacer eso y me costó dos semanas, dos semanas, sacar algo de mí y decirme a mí mismo, bueno, sos egoísta. Y en un espejo, sos egoísta, sos perezoso sos eh, todo lo demás ¿no? y así fue saliendo un montón de cosas casi que chilla al final hasta que acepté de verdad lo que era claro, o sea, agarrado de Dios como dicen ¿verdad? eso se llama una hacerse uno este se le llama esto en inglés, se me olvidó escrutarse uno mismo escrutarse uno mismo hacerse una introspección y darse cuenta de quién es yo hasta eso eh, hago aquí, pues el programa no me lo pide, ¿no? pero sí en parte me lo prohíbe un poco eh, eh, hablar un poco de, de esto de las charlas motivacionales e inspirar a la gente para que se mueva, porque yo así empiezo las clases con esto, o sea, de abrirle los ojos a la gente y decirle, miren, primero que nada hay que aceptarse uno como es, porque si dentro de lo que uno es está la pereza, la dejadez, eh, hasta cierto punto el no sé cómo llamarle eso cuando a uno le valen las cosas la, eso es dejadez no no darle importancia entonces todo eso si uno no se analiza y no se lo y uno no se lo identifica vive con eso y no, nunca se da cuenta hasta que a alguien Dios le pone a alguien a uno y dice mira vos sos un egoísta le dicen a alguien no le gusta a uno mira. Que viene ese conflicto y tarde o temprano uno acepta. A mí me lo dijeron hace muchos años. Sos bien, ¿cómo es que me dijeron? Sos bien arrogante, me dijeron. Mira, de menos a los demás. Yo, si yo crecí bien pobremente, porque a ver, de menos a alguien que sea pobre, no lo aceptaba y no lo aceptaba. Después, en esa introspección que hice hace, hace cuatro años, entendí eso. Había, había crecido en la pobreza y por ende me costó tanto salir de pobre que, o sea, y no soy rico, pero sí salir, moverme y tener mi casita y todo, que hoy en día miraba a las personas, ya no, ¿verdad? pero miraba a las personas y era como, pero es por este sentido de decir, si yo pude, ¿por qué no puede esta persona? Ya, entonces acepté que era arrogante, me lo quité y ahora hago eso, mejor trato de ayudar a las personas y decir, bueno, hacerle ver eso, no, mire, si yo pude porque usted no puede, si yo iba a moler maíz yo iba a repartir pan cuando estaba chiquito y yo pensé en salir de eso y lo luché, luché, luché hasta que pues, si yo pude, eso es no ser humano como y corriente porque no va a poder ser, y así entonces eso es muy importante, no cree sí, porque si no todo lo que uno se propone, lo va dejando ay mañana dice ay, mañana. cuando se viene a dar cuenta se fue la semana Right, so, lo animo a eso vea los videos continúe con lo que estés haciendo pero disciplina ok sí. <ríe> cualquier cosa si necesita practicar escríbame ok escríbame con gusto yo le doy en lo que sea para que se continúe ok yo le escribí hoy, hoy, en, hoy para que me mandara lo de, sale ¿Sí? un montón de entonces sale un montón de, de, de audio porque estaba haciendo las tareas. Y... Ah, sí, se lo envié, ¿no? No, no me lo mandó. ¿En serio? Sí. Al link donde salen las diferentes pronunciaciones. Estoy haciendo las tareas y hay varias palabras que desconozco para saber cómo se pronuncian. Este, usted, yo pensé que le había contestado ahorita. Pero, ¿cuál link, José? 
que yo veo que entra usted donde sale un montón de palabras. Ah, pronunciaciones para palabras que desconoce la pronunciación. Juglish. Juglish. Ajá. Sí, así de fácil. Ah. Juglish, acuérdese de YouTube, juglish.com. Ahorita mismo. Ahí está. Solo hay que elegir la opción de US, US, US. Ah. Para que se hagan los videitos. Excelente. Lo siento, pensé que alguien más me había escrito por otro link, viera que así pasó. <ríe> ok. Very good. Tardo, pero no olvido. Ok, bueno. Que pasen una feliz noche. Descanse, José Antonio. Goodbye. Hey, gracias, igual, teacher. You're welcome.